this is Nika B back with some more Genesis. The last left off, I was talking with King Ding Dong, and he took, he gave me this badass fire emblem and told, didn't tell me what I was supposed to do with it. So now I gotta go figure out what I'm supposed to do with it. Oh, okay, there we go. We're up to the land of the flame that I think we should set up camp. <laughs> oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> that makes the most sense. Let's go set up camp. With we could just stay in the castle and talk about it, but no, let's go outside and talk about it. Where monsters can kill us. Since we're not into the land of the flame, I must know something. Are you fully committed to the cause? Yes. <laughs> what cause? Just getting his memories back? Or I don't even know what I'm doing. Some special mission. I must do what needs to be done. I agree with Lance, I only do I with the pillar, but then I must just be So we'll finally have a ding dong doodly team. Woohoo! Well we are on the same page, I think it's not Seriously, is it just gonna be the four of us? Four dudes? Seriously? No, I don't believe so. I think you already know my answer. I've done I'm telling demons. Monsters and demons encounter on a day to day basis. No one knows where they come from, but ever since the beginning they existed. The all purpose to destroy everything and have sex with everything and poop on everything. Wait, did you just say poop on everything? That's right. <laughs> Pooping. <laughs> the map tells us we are trained to fight. We install a church and join up to combat them. Legend tells of something and then a nameless fallen angel. Fallen angel. Sounds like Sephiroth. That's right. It is Sephiroth. Dun 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 You're from the land of the flaming, correct? Share your knowledge about it. Well, they tell you the tear that ran away and ten years ago didn't look back. But, but there are things that I won't know will change. First of all, it's completely closed off from the outside world. The flame emblem we got from the present only thing can open the gate to the power. There you go. The name of the actual flame, land of flame, land of flame. <laughs> sounds a lot better than land of flame. Yeah, land of flame kind of sounds, sounds kind of lame. Sounds like a stupid Disney movie. Take control of the shrine. That was ten years ago. That's no! Ah! My, my god. <laughs> my god. The last game around us was a complete dispute. Yes. Um, we need to lose control of the shrine. Then we have to go. I agree with this case. Why did we take this long? Why didn't we go to that place first? Because we didn't have the fire emblem. Well, fuck me. You went and lived there, didn't you? Shouldn't you have a fire emblem? Oh! Oh, this is the end of it. Thank you so much for playing the demo of Genesis. I've been so much time to this game. One year so far. I'm showing interest in space. <laughs> Shut up, Trey. Why are you narrating this? I like to narrate things, alright? Alright, now, now you should narrate it, but... Now I like narrating. There really is a must to explore. Unless you visit the Cave Eternal one. It's up to... Okay, you know what, now you just, just don't even... Don't even narrate. But I like to... No, no, no. You know what? You, you fucked it up. You, you always fucked it. God damn it. <sighs> alright. To the north of here. Try it. Unless you visit the Cave of the Thrones. It's my first time in an actual large scale side quest. Okay, well, um. Honestly, I'm. I'm not really much for doing just side quests for the sake of doing a side quest. So I'm gonna stop here. Um. And, uh. Yeah, um, I'll tell you about my opinion of the game. Um, it, it's overall, I think it's a, it's pretty decent, but I feel like there's a lot that needs work. I don't know. The, okay, so let's start. Uh, story, I don't know. It was, I mean, honestly, it's pretty generic. You know, I mean, it's like evil demon thing, and then we get sent, we pull a god of war, and we lose all our godly powers, and then we get sent to down to earth and we lose all memory and then some dude finds us and he's like I know who you are but you don't know who I am I'm all mysterious and shit and we're like whoa whoa dude get out of my face I'll get inside your face <laughs> sorry uh, <laughs> um you know and it was I don't know I, I mean the characters were okay but I kind of found myself, like, especially towards the tail end here, I just found myself not really caring that much. Um, you know, it wasn't, it, it's not anything that's really, 
super engaging. Uh, I'm kind of just tired of stories that are like, there's this one guy who's like the sole hero and he needs to save the world, and I'm just kind of, I'm tired of playing this kind of games, you know? Um, that's kind of what we have here, it's this one guy who's super powerful, and then, uh, I don't know, it just, it just gets old. Um, the, uh, the, the graphics, those need a lot of work, too. Like, it, it sort of varies, it's weird, like, some areas actually look okay, you know, like, the world map isn't too bad, um, honestly, like, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too shabby. You might want to, no, you know, it, it really doesn't look bad, I, I don't know. Um, but... Like, some of the interiors are really bland. That ca that castle down there was really bad, man. I mean, seriously, it was just... There was nothing in there. I mean, it's just like... It's just a long series of corridors with nothing... No carpets, no... Like, drapery. It's just like... They got, like, cracks in the wall. I mean, there's... No... I don't know. No benches, no pillars, no statues. It's nothing. It's just a big, empty castle. It's just... Aside from that, like, garden thing on the second floor, which I still don't really get. Um... You know, and then some of the interiors, you, you just, you made your, you make your interiors too big. You're, and this is, this is something that seriously so many de uh, developers do, um, is that they make their interiors far too big and they got all this open space. And, and really, the, the best looking maps are the ones that are, are smaller, more compact. You make most use of your space while still, you know, taking things and like decorating it, giving you enough room movement to move around, but not so much that you have, like, you know, like a fucking acre of, like, empty space, you know, it's just, uh, just go for smaller, you know, I mean, I think, I don't know, I, I mean, we, we all did this, I mean, all early game developers did this, um, I did it too, you know, I mean, when I, when I was starting off, so, but, uh, you know, I learned that it's just better for to small, have smaller, more compact areas. And it, just, it does. It just looks a lot better. Um, uh, okay. Um, the music was good. I, I did enjoy the music. I'm not sure if uh, I did recognize a few Chrono Cross themes. That was about it, though. The rest I, I don't really recognize. Like, I like this world map theme. I, I've never, never heard this one before. I'm not sure if it's RTP or if it's from something, but it's, but it's nice. It's soothing. Mm. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it wasn't anything too bad, I, um, yeah, uh, the gameplay, I, I actually think that's probably was the strongest thing in this game was its, was its battle system, now, it's definitely not perfect, there was, like, that one boss, that second demon thing was, that thing was really hard, and it, and it was, I felt it was sort of, annoyingly hard because it, just because of certain things like the fact that he cast that deadly poison there's no way I can cure that as far as I know I mean I didn't see any items in the only items I saw in like item shop was the that could cure poison was that palm thing palm leaf thing that only cures regular poison um and uh and then they sold like potions and stuff but uh you know, and that, that wouldn't cure it, and every time I'd, like, cure myself, he would just, like, do it again, you know, and it was, I don't know, it, and I feel like it's still, I, I, I can't tell from the grand scale of this game whether, it just seemed like that boss should have been easier, you know, I don't know how many of these spirit things I'm going to end up facing, but, you know, like, I would sort of understand if the next one, the third one was really difficult, but I don't know, I feel like the second one shouldn't have been, like, I mean, it could be tough, but not, like, that hard. You know, not so hard that it's like, holy shit on a stick, what is... This guy is rocking my world. He's taking me out to lunch. So, you know, and then also some of the things like in the, the mountain area where the bad guys, they... Like that one cockatoo enemy, like, all it ever did was use stone gaze. gaze. Like, hardly ever attacked me. Like, like 70% of the time is used stone gaze, which would petrify me. And then... The item to buy to uh, to heal yourself for petrification was way too expensive, um, and it would you know last outside of battle. I mean, it sort of it was sort of like like holy shit, I'm kind of fucked, you know. I mean, it's definitely a, one of those situations where like I mean, yeah, if I 
all my apartment members get petrified, I'm screwed. I don't even, I didn't even get a game over when it happened, you know? So, and also that, oh man, that bug, that, that optimized bug, that, you gotta fix that, man. That's, that is a big, that is a big boo-boo there. <laughs> I mean, holy shit, I can, look at me. Look at this power I have. More items. More power! <laughs> yes! Infinite power! Okay. Anyway. Um. So, you know, but I, I did find the battle layout, like, the way the battles looked, for the most part, I thought was actually pretty good. I, it seemed a little different than what other other ones looked like, which I thought was kind of nice. Just the aesthetic were, were better, I thought. Although I did really would I would have appreciated having like one of the, the the character face boxes flash when it was their turn. I know it moves up a little bit and then has their name above the the box, but I'm constantly staring at their HP. Um, I just didn't find that when it moves up that it was enough to really like, give me a signal. But if it started flashing, then it's like okay, I, you know I, I don't know, just like just the face and not like their HP, uh, something like that. It just I, I had a hard time sort of seeing who the hell's turn is it. It's like, oh, you know, I don't know. It, it probably wouldn't have been that big a deal if the fact that the, the battle system itself was at, wasn't active. You know, so I'm like, const I can't, like, sit here and think about, oh, what, what do I want to do? You know, it's like, holy shit, I gotta click sh stuff, you know? I, like, enemy's gonna rock the crap out of me. And that's the thing, I really, that's why I hate this stupid active battle system. It's like, you know, I, I have to, everything's so freaking frantic until I, like, get to a menu and can choose an item, you know, and I, I just hate that. Um, you know, I'd recommend switching to a wait, you know, when it gets to a person's turn, have a wait on, or at least give us the option to change that. Also give us the option to turn on auto dash, because I fucking hate holding shift while moving. Um, you know, that would, I think, improve it a lot. Um... Uh, you know, but I mean, I, like, I did find there was a matter of strategy, you know, even with that second boss, that, that second demon thing, I did, you know, sort of use some strategy, like, use Stola's heavy blade thing to, was sort of the, the game winner. I didn't really realize that it kept wearing off. Um, I'm not sure if the enemy shows any sort of indication that it has a status effect, you know. Um, as far as I can tell, it, couldn't, but maybe I'm wrong there, so I'm not gonna, um, but, you know, if it doesn't, then, you know, it would probably be a good thing to have, um, I wasn't even really aware that hit that move was, he actually afflicted a status effect, it looked like, I thought it just would increase, decrease his agility, you know, um, but, yeah, what I think is a status, is a status effect, uh, okay, so, you know, so the battles were, but the battles were pretty good, you know, like, I mean, in the, you know, they weren't horrible, they weren't, like, rocking my shit too much, although, again, I hate random battles, but, I don't know, I think any game would just be, can only improve from having a touch encounter system of some kind. Uh, oh, excuse me, um, but yeah, you know, I mean, I feel like there's still, you know, a lot that you can, you, you can do to improve this game, um, you know, I don't know, the story, it's sort of like, I mean, there were a number of typos and uh, spelling errors, which I tried to point out as many as I could, but, um, which need to be looked at, but the end, I don't know, I mean, you sort of got already like a structure, so I feel like you might have, you would have to redo a lot of things to make it sort of more interesting, for me at least, you know, because right now it's just kind of generic. You know, it, it is. It, it, you get the hero, he's the only one who can save the world, and blah, blah, blah. And it's just... It's just kind of gotten old, you know? So, um... I can't really recommend much on that end, because, you know, in order to really change that, you'd have to just go through and change, like, your entire story. And start from scratch again, which, it, you know, obviously isn't a viable option. But... You know, so just improve some of the spelling errors, um, your mapping, you know, that, a lot of that helps. A lot of, if, if you get a lot of the aesthetics, sometimes you kind of, will buy, you'll start to buy into the world and you will, you can overlook a lot of, like, the cliches and things. Um, 
I don't know. Uh, maybe give some characters a little bit more exposition and one-on-one -on -one time to talk to each other. I'd really recommend, I mean, seriously, I've got four dudes in my party. Come on, get, get, get us a, a girl in here. I, I know it's, I'm, I know it's, I'm not trying to be like, oh, you know, it's like, you're sexist because you don't have a girl or anything. It's just, it's just kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of weird to have all four dudes in there. And, like, I don't know, it's a freaking sausage fest here, man. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I would recommend, or you could just switch out one of these characters and make him a girl instead. I'd recommend getting rid of, Trey is basically a girl, he looks like a freaking girl. His eyes are always closed, and I gave him a girl voice. I'm not a girl, I'm a, I'm a real boy! Shut up, Trey. God dang it. Did I say you could talk? Uh, okay, well, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Try. If you did, please give it a like and favorite. It really means a lot to me when you guys do that. Uh, helps really show, you know, some support and stuff. And, uh, you know, I, it always really means a lot to me. Um, if you guys have a uh, a game that you would like me to play, you know, feel free to request it. You can request it. You can actually request it on my YouTube page if you want to. You can request it, or on either of my uh, forum threads on RMN or Optimaker Web. It could be your own game or somebody else's. You know. Um, just, you know, make sure you check the rules. Um, there aren't that many, but... Uh, yeah, and if you, uh, are got, if you are watching these and are enjoying my witty, hilarious commentary, then why don't you subscribe, you know? I promise you won't regret it. So, anyway guys, again, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next Let's Play. And until then, stay classy, guys.